Bees. The bees. Wanted to uh, show you this uh, high grade stainless steel tank I picked up. This thing is heavy, and the guy, uh, when he picked it up, the excavator dropped it, bent that leg a little bit. But uh, came out of the old paper mill guy was using it in his basement for a uh, hot water tank. I wanted to uh, show you how to uh, tell if something is uh, stainless steel or not because uh, I was arguing with a couple of guys online. They, they said the picture of it looked like it was aluminum. I said, well, if you moved it if you were to move it, you would know that it's not aluminum because it's way too heavy for that. But I just wanted to show you a couple of ways you can tell if something's stainless steel. There's a couple of different ways. See that weld right there? See how it's like kind of rainbow colored? That's the first telltale sign. Also, the fact that uh, for being so old, it's not rusted, right? No rust. I mean, that's from the strap they had on there, little bracket. But um, that's one of the ways. And then you can uh, you can scratch away on it and do the key test. It'll be very hard. You have to put a lot of pressure to put a scratch into stainless steel. Uh, where aluminum, you would actually, you would make like a little divot in it and start to peel some off because it's soft, you know. But, simplest way is just bust out the old grinder. You hit that, you're going to see some sparks. You hit the uh, aluminum with the grinder, and uh, you ain't going to see no sparks. And then uh, there's one more test you can do. Take my old trusty magnet, and uh, she don't stick. Don't stick, see? Nothing. Don't stick to anything. Of course, that's comfortable little piece right there but even the little even those little bolts on the feet to adjust it no stick pretty sure it's a 316 stainless steel um, it's either that or 304 but uh, kind of a cool piece could use it make a still you know, in a brewery or something. It's, uh, stuff's not cheap. To scrap it, I'd have to cut it up into pieces, which would uh, take a long time. And like all other scrap, it's in the toilet. Probably be, I think it's like 20 cents a pound for this uh, stainless steel right here. So, yeah. Put it on the old marketplace. See if somebody's interested.
Till then.